Yo, yo, what's up, Team Sig Fitzpatrick, and welcome to episode 2 of my Dream Account series. Uh, if you're looking for the other episodes, there is a link to the playlist for series in the description below. A goal that I would like to complete this episode is the Fremenic Trials quest, because it gives XP in just a lot of skills. I'm sure a lot of you have done this quest, and know it's not hard, and it really isn't, even at the current state of my account. But it does have requirements. Uh, technically, there is a way around them. Um, I just have to kill some guy a few times for that, but that's not really any fun. So we're going to go get the requirements, which are 25 fletching, uh, 40 woodcutting, and 40 crafting. Uh, these aren't hard levels to get at all either, but if you watched the previous episodes of the series and know about the approach I'm taking with this account, I'm currently only leveling my skills uh, through experience from quest rewards. I will train a skill if I absolutely have to, meaning there isn't really another quest for me to do. On top of that, uh, these other quests uh, may have other requirements I may not have. And I tried coming up with a plan of an efficient order to do these quests in, but honestly, it was just way too much. I think it's easier to uh, take it one step at a time. So what I'm going to do as of right now is I'm going to do every single quest that I already have the requirements for that will directly give me XP in any of these three skills. Then after I'm done with that, I'm sure I'll meet a bunch of quest requirements for other quests, uh, gain XP and other skills, as well as meet the skill requirements. And at that point, I will take a step back, uh, see where I'm at, uh, see what else I can do, and whether or not I actually have to train the skill. If my plan sounds really confusing to you, that's because it is confusing. While I was explaining all that, I let some of the more uh, boring quests that I had to do uh, play in the background as I don't really have much to say about them, but I will go over them real quick. Um, I did sheep shear for 150 craft XP but no levels, uh, 200 craft XP from Goblin Diplomacy for 24 crafting, 600 craft XP from Mistle and Mystery, uh, no levels, 750 craft XP from Dwarf Cannon, 25 crafting, 1000 prayer and craft XP from Making History, 26 crafting, Giant Dwarf Complete, uh, 2500 mining XP, for level 18, 2500 smithing for level 30, 2500 crafting for level 29, 1500 magic for level 34, 1500 thieving for level 18, and 1500 fire making for level 31. That was actually the last quest that I have all the requirements for that gives me XP and all the skills that I need. I just start working towards other things now in order to get further. So I set a mini goal, which um, I'm going to be doing uh, Shades of Morton, which the only requirement that I lack as of right now is 15 Herblore. And I can't put a plan on how I'm going to do this. And I'm not going to tell you right at this moment what the plan is because you're going to watch it unfold in video. But let me just say you would not believe the amount of work I'm about to put in just to get 15 Herblore. First quest is absolutely mandatory, and that's because I need this to even start training Herblore, and that quest is, of course, Druidic Ritual, which uh, got me a level 3. Next up, I had to do Black Knight's Fortress. No XP reward, though. I actually need it for Recruitment Drive, which is an easy quest, but a little annoying because if you don't know, I have to uh, make my character a female for the quest, and then when I change my character back later, I know this because this always happens. They don't give me my old clothes back, and I'm bald. Quest complete for 1000 XP in Prayer, Herblore, and Agility. The uh, only level I got out of that was 10 Herblore, but that's exactly what I needed anyways. Gertrude's Cat complete to get me from 2 to 12 cooking. I didn't actually need those levels though. Um, I only did this quest to get a kitten to do Ictalarn's Little Helper. I wanted to do Ictalarn's Little Helper a little bit earlier for the XP, but there's this pit that you have to jump a bunch of times, which is an agility thing, and we all know how annoying those can get if you fail. But I have 36 agility, and I bought uh, Summer Pies as food and to boost my agility whenever I need to jump the pit. This is actually the first jump that I missed the entire quest. Um, I was trying to go to the exit anyway, so despite failing, it actually helped me. This quest doesn't give Herblore XP, but it does give uh, 4,000 Jota XP, taking me from 36 to 37, uh, 4,000 Woodcutting, taking me from 13 to 22, which gets me a little closer to Fremenic Trials, and 4,500 Thieving, uh, taking me from 18 to 25, which is actually what I needed for the next quest I'm going to do. The quest that I wanted to do was Dig Site, which I just completed for 15,300 mining XP taking me from 18 to 33 mining and 2,000 herbal XP to get me from 10 to 17. Time to do Shades of Morton. 
If you don't know, uh, Shades of Morton gives craft XP, which is one of the things I'm after, but the main reason why I wanted to do this was because I also wanted to unlock the uh, Shades of Morton minigame teleport, which I thought was the only way for me to get to this like area quickly, at least at the current state of my account. Coming to find out there's actually a Morton teleport scroll that you can just buy. I suppose the minigame teleport still is a use though, because these scrolls are over 5k each. I remember the first time I ever did this quest, I had no idea there was a world for building this temple thing and I couldn't figure out how to finish the quest, and it's next to impossible to do by yourself, and the best thing is, there's always people here which makes the quest significantly easier. Technically, I don't need the Serum 208, which is the uh, permanent cure to finish the quest, but I want to use it on the general store owner, and correct me if I'm wrong, but he's like the only useful NPC in this whole place. And I'm so serious about the correct me about wrong part, by the way, because I would actually love to find out about someone else who's useful in this place. Quest complete for 2,000 Herblor XP to get me from 17 to 21 Herblor, and 2,000 Craft XP for level 30. Alright, first time using the Shades of Morton minigame teleport, I'm going to be doing some of the Myriku quests as it gives a bit of combat and craft XP. So, I didn't get much XP from this quest, it's actually only 600 in each skill, so I'm not even going to bother reading it off, but you know, every little bit of XP counts. Also, I did get uh, 31 crafting from it. I just completed the next quest in the Myriku or Vampire series in aid of Myriku for 2000 XP in attack, defense, strength, and crafting. I got 50 attack and 32 crafting from that. Elemental Workshop 1 complete for 5,000 XP in crafting and smithing, giving me 35 crafting and 34 smithing. Elemental Workshop 2 complete for 7,500 XP in smithing and crafting for level 37 in both. Jungle Potion complete for 775 Herblor XP, taking me to 22 Herblor. I didn't do it for the XP though, I did so I can go do Shiloh Village. Shiloh Village complete for 3,875 craft XP for level 39. I'm now exactly 3,258 XP for my goal of 40. I'm currently doing the golem, and I just realized something. Uh, if you know nothing about the storyline to his quest, the golem is kind of like, the best way I would describe it, I would say he's like a magical robot. Uh, he can be programmed to carry out tasks, and his task is to kill some demon, which doesn't happen in this quest, but in the next quest in this series, uh, Shadow of the Storm. In Shadow of the Storm, you open a portal, to free some demon to defeat him. I don't plan on doing Shadow of the Storm this episode, but I'm bringing it up because I'm literally watching a show on Netflix right now as I'm playing. Um, in this show, there's a demon who possessed some girl, but he's just in control of her mind or whatever, so he can use her to help him, uh, to help himself escape from wherever he is. He's not physically there, so the logic of the main characters in the show is how do we defeat something we can't see? So guess what they did? Like in Shadow of Storm, they opened a portal to wherever this demon was to free him, then they killed him. I'm not going to say what show it is because it might be a spoiler if anyone was in the middle of watching it, but feel free to guess in the comments. Uh, if you watched it, you probably know though. The Golem is complete for 1000 Thieve XP, giving me level 26, and 1000 Crafting, putting me 2258 XP from 40. Buying a house right now because I need uh, 10 construction for a quest. And there isn't really one that can boost me in levels. Also, it's an easy skill anyway, so I'm just going to train it. There we go, 10 construction. I was training construction to do uh, Tower of Life for uh, 500 Thief XP to get me to level 27. 1000 construction, which got me to uh, 14. And 500 craft XP, which puts me 1758 XP from 40. Cook's assistant complete for 300 cook XP for 13 cooking. I want to start Recipe for Disaster, and actually plan on doing most of Recipe for Disaster very soon, but there is a part that I already have the requirements for that I want to do right away because it gives me XP and two skills that I need. I'm currently one step away from completing that Recipe for Disaster subquest I was talking about, but I need to go back to Lumbridge, and my home teleport isn't ready yet, so I'm just going to do this uh, museum quiz thing, which is going to give me 1000 XP in Slayer and Hunter, bringing them to level 9. Um, I didn't really tell you what I was working on right now, so before I did Tower of Life, uh, my runecrafting, construction, uh, slayer, hunter, and farming were all level 1. I want to make runecrafting my lowest stat because I plan on doing uh, Tears of Guthix this episode. There's a Tears of Guthix quest and a Tears of Guthix minigame for those of you who don't know. Uh, you have to complete the quest to unlock the minigame, and the minigame is a weekly thing you can do that gives you free XP in your lowest stat. 
So technically you don't get to pick but you do have some control over it simply by making every other stat higher than the skill you want XP in. Um, I got construction of 14 after doing Tower of Life. Hunter and Slayer are now both level 9 leaving just uh, farming and runecrafting. Freed the Goblin Generals from Recipe for Disaster for 1000 XP in cooking. Uh, crafting and farming so now farming is level 9 got 16 cooking as well and I'm 758 XP from 40 crafting I'm going to work towards uh, tiers of guthics now but while I'm here in Lumbridge I assume I actually need to unlock the rune crafting skill first to get XP in it even if it is free XP so I'm going to start rune mysteries rune mysteries is done there's one last thing I need to do before I can start Tears of Guthics. It has a 49 fire making requirement and there isn't uh, anything that could boost me in fire making levels. But it's an easy skill anyway so I'm just going to train it. There it is, 49 fire making from burning uh, willow and maple logs. Looking back on the fire making requirement, maybe there were things that could have gotten me some XP but it wasn't a lot. Uh, if you factor in the amount of work involved, it definitely wasn't worth it because the thing that I had to consider was that if I... That if I wanted to unlock Tears of Guthix as soon as possible, it really comes down to if I care more about the free fire making XP or the free runecraft XP, which I think everyone would get the same answer to that. Tears of Guthix complete and 40 crafting. I did not forget about the crafting requirement if you thought that I had that planned all along. 63 tiers collected from Tears of Guthix minigame, uh, 630 runecraft XP for level 6. I just want to point out, I pretty much spent the whole episode up until this point to get 40 crafting which is only one out of three requirements for feminic trials the last two which are 40 wood cutting and 25 fletching there actually aren't any more quests that i can do that can boost me in levels so we're just gonna train there we go 40 wood cutting from cutting oak logs 25 fletching from making bronze and iron arrows feminic trials finally complete uh got xp and a bunch of different skills i'm gonna just read off the levels though uh, 47 defense, 40 HP, 27 fishing, 29 thieving, 38 agility, and 27 fletching. Anyways, that is going to be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for future videos to come. If you haven't already, uh, be sure to check out the playlist link in the description below for more episodes as well. Catch you later. Peace.